Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's drawing tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to draw realistic dogs using graphite pencils only. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. This is a tutorial where I'm going to be going through the processes that I use and the techniques that I, um, I've sort of mastered over the last couple of years now for drawing realistic looking fur, uh, particularly light coloured fur. I've had a lot of requests recently over on social media asking how you draw sort of blondish hair uh, and light coloured hair. So this is a really, really nice piece. It's actually a commission piece that I've been doing uh, for somebody for a Christmas present. Uh, it's of his two dogs. And we've got a very dark coloured dog in the foreground. It's actually a sausage dog. Uh, and in the background, we've got a much lighter coloured dog. So I'm going to go through the processes and the techniques that I use just to... Um, to achieve this kind of look. Now I've covered in uh, previous videos before uh, how we actually draw light coloured hair with a graphite pencil. Now as you're aware, graphite pencil, you can never represent a white or light coloured hair with the stroke of a pencil. So when we are looking to try and draw something that's light, uh, particularly a, a blonde headed hair, a female possibly, or in this case a light coloured dog, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing the dark areas of the hair using a brush to brush the graphite around and then we're going to be taking the uh, lighter coloured strands of hair out with an eraser. For this process I'm using an HB, 2B and 4B pencil. I use a brand called Caran Dash and they're really quite a soft pencil so it does allow me to move the graphite around uh, the paper quite well. I use a very soft haired brush, uh, it's actually a camel hair brush uh, and you can get these from good art suppliers but I'm sure a makeup brush would do just as good a job. I'm going into the darkest areas of the fur to begin with and if you actually look at a reference image you'll find that even in the lightest of coloured hair you have got darker areas. These are the, the, the bits of hair that are um, furthest away. There are sort of holes in between strands of hair uh, and crevices and nooks and crannies so we actually start by using the graphite in these areas and brushing like I say the graphite into the other areas the lighter areas and then taking out the strands of hair with I'm using two different types of eraser for this I'm using a mono zero eraser which is the white colored eraser which actually looks like a pen or a pencil you'll see it on the time lapse and I'm actually using a kneaded eraser for, for other areas which again is sometimes referred to as putty eraser uh, it's like a bit of blue tack or plasticine if you can remember what plasticine was from back in the day uh, and it just allows you to get into some very fine areas and it does start to remove the graphite really quite well. I'm making sure that I'm layering the hairs and I'm not just going in to uh, an area and trying to draw every strand of hair. What I'm doing is I'm working in clumps and as you can see the dog in the background is actually quite dark looking still but as I start to build up the, uh, the values in the sausage dog in the foreground, still using the 2B, the HB and the 4B pencils, but I'm going to be pressing a little bit harder and layering more. And as I bring the darkness out of the dog in the foreground, the dog in the background then starts to appear to become lighter. And this is the trick that you want to be trying to master uh, for any type of graphite drawing really is we can get hung up on the fact that we're drawing something that is supposed to be white and that could be the whites of an eye but actually when we're actually trying to represent it with a graphite pencil we can't leave it white because anything that's left completely white the same as anything that's completely black or the same value always looks flat and we want to try and get away from anything looking flat in our drawings as much as possible. So to recap, when we're trying to draw fur or hair, what we do is we use a 2B or a 4B pencil. We draw in the darkest recesses of the hair and by using a very soft brush, we brush the graphite around and then we remove the lighter hairs with a, uh, an eraser. I'm using a mono zero eraser and a kneaded eraser. All in all, this drawing took me about 15 hours. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I actually went for some colour in the eyes and it really does start to make the drawing pop. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. If you've got any requests for future videos, let me know. I'm also doing Scribble Art Sunday, so if you've got something you'd like me to do uh, for a Scribble Art Sunday or a tutorial, let me know down in the comments below or get hold of me on social media. The links to all of those are down below uh, in the descriptions. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm going to leave you with the final picture uh, of these two lovely dogs, and I'll see you all soon.
hit subscribe, smack the notification button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.